Hey Gemini, so let's get started. Uh, this will be a love read. There is no time associated with this read. We're just gonna pull and see what pop out. Let's get started. What is the overall message of love for Gemini, Sun, Mars, and Venus? What is the overall message for Gemini? Let me just okay. Here we go. Spread your wings and just breathe. But that's in reverse. So for a lot of you guys, maybe you've been just too relaxed because that's a four of swords. So you got the two of wands, which I believe that is the two of wands. That's the purple border. Mm-hmm. Spread your wings, two of wands. So this is about going down a new path, four of swords. Some of y'all need to come out of hiding. What page is this? Spread your wings, 139. That's a, that's a, that's a three. No, that's a four. Thirteen is four. So this is, some of you guys have been stuck. It's time to pop out. Like, get out of your own fucking way. Keywords here. Put that down. Expansion, freedom, confinement, decision. Energy of expansion are around you now. And because of this, you may be feeling restless and uncertain. Your mind and soul are ready to soar, but you may feel confined by certain relationships or certain aspects of them. Although they may be comfortable and feel safe, it's possible they don't quite fulfill your needs. Even the desire to be in a relationship can be restricting because it becomes your focus and you forget to live your life to the fullest. This is, about going, this is, one. This is about going down a new path. Sometimes when you think you have all that you could ever want, you realize that you are now that you now want something else. Perhaps a relationship has grown a little too restricting or it's not ex exciting enough, or maybe it's no longer meeting your needs as you've evolved and changed. What will it take to allow you to feel unrestrained and joyful? Listen to your heart. What do you really want? Remember, remember to make any needed changes with love and compassion. So this is about going down a new path. Look, she's walking down a new path. I didn't even fucking see that. So <laughs> For a lot of you guys, you could have been afraid to kind of move forward afraid to kind of take a step and you've been four of swords in this recovery mode you've recovered you've healed that's your fucking title you've healed get the fuck on like go on quit quit dragging your feet gemini Like you healed, baby. I, I'm I'm tripping because come on, man. I forgot what page I was on, y'all. One twenty-three. God damn. My went blank. All right. Keywords here: step back, reconnect, re rest, recharge. It's in reverse, so we gonna take the reverse of this, which you have been to yourself. It's time to. Get out of that. You're no longer in a break. Like, you've healed. I'm not going to read that because it's the reverse. You need to get out of that energy. You've already healed. It's time to spread your fucking wings. Some of y'all have been barricading yourself. Y'all need to get out of your own way. All right. What messages, what guidance do we have? Look, whatever you went through, it's over, baby. Okay? It's over. Page of Pinnacle. Somebody's coming in with a positive. Small steps. Small steps towards something big. All right. What messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, and Rising and Venus? You got a lot of options here. Messages, guidance, Sun here, Leo energy here, seeing things clearly, Eight of Pentacles, seeing clearly what you need to invest in. What messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, and Rising and Venus? Messages, guidance for Gemini, Sun, and Rising and Venus. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Sun, and Rising and Venus. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to stop looking at the cards because I was going to keep reading. Can't say sup. Seven of Cups here. Got a lot of options. Could be confused. We have, let me put that up here so y'all can see that. We have the Six of Swords. Moving forward, moving on, peace of mind. Good. That's good energy. Five of Wands. You're moving forward toward conflict. You're moving toward conflict. What? No. No. We're not. Ten of Wands, moving toward burdens. I feel like you're moving toward some sort of challenging situation that you're going to put the fuck down very quickly. Double up. 
people. Yeah, never let a hard time humble us. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Some of y'all move, y'all moving forward, but y'all gotta go through some shit to get to where you're going. Three of Wands here. You got a lot of ones in your reading. This is a lover. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Could also be dealing with an air sign. This is about moving forward, letting go of those burdens, changing your expectations. Four of Pentacles. Y'all holding yourself back. Ten Swords. Listen, y'all holding yourself back. You got a lot of options. You're conflicted. It's time to to to. It's time to get on on the right path here. You're conflicted. Why are you conflicted? Too many too many challenges. Too many too many oppositions. Um, too many burdens. Too much too much weight on your shoulders. You're being guided down a new path. You're being guided down a new path. Let me let me let me light my jig in my joint. You know what I'm saying, cause Gemini, y'all, I feel like y'all gonna give me a headache because I, I'm seeing that you're holding your like you're guarded. You're holding yourself like because there's a lot of shit going on around you. The problem that I don't think you're getting these are the two physical your energy cards. You get what I'm saying? This is personal energy. These two here. Actually, not these two. This one is mental. This one is external, energetic. This is physical. You're in a space of nothing in, nothing out, nothing in, nothing out. But mentally, you want a peace of mind. But you're allowing things outside of you to create confusion, to create conflict, to create opposition. Get out of your own way. You're healed. You don't have to deal with this shit. You don't have to deal with this shit. You can move forward. You literally have the, the, the way to move forward. Now, you might have to go through some bullshit to get there. It's worth it. Why is the Six of Swords here? Whoosh. Eight of Cups in reverse. You're conflicted about moving forward. You, you won't let go. Will of Fortune here. You don't want things to change. High Priest is here. You're not trusting your intuition. Time to spread your wings. It's time to let some go. Why is this five of wands here? We had the uh, king of swords under there. It's about making a decision and sticking to it. Standing on business. Why is this... Uh... I'm going to put all them back to start over. Why is this five of wands right here? Knight of swords. You conflicted about how to move forward conflicted about how to move forward you're at a crossroads two of ones this popped out in your actual message i'm supposed to leave these up here some of y'all it's like y'all just been letting shit happen and it's time to let that go you got to take action you, you've been holding yourself back why is this uh knight of swords on the side of one feel like you're conflicted about moving forward because you you're a lot of you guys are not connected with the god within you um, because you've been too much in you, meaning you've been too much in your head, too much in, in your own energy, too much in your own minds or your own feelings, seven of cups, feeling confused, feeling like, uh, like y'all know which way is up. Why is the ten of wands here? Why is the ten of wands here? This is a challenge. Seven of swords. I mean, nine of swords. Your own mind is a challenge right now. Two of swords here. You keep going backwards. There's two of swords. You see how the thoughts, you might be moving forward, but you keep thinking about the past. You keep thinking about, oh, this is what's going on. Okay. You're holding yourself back because you focused on the past. Three of wands here. Why is three of wands here? We got three of swords here. You're breaking your own heart with your own expectations. Something happened in the past and you expect it to happen again judgment here you need to be more discerning what what you're because you're expecting it it's like it's manifesting in your life you don't know that you're the reason why this seven of cups energy is here because you're too inside yourself too inside your head nine of pentacles here not secure uh cherry here you're not secure about moving forward you're not moving forward you got a new opportunity here that you a good investment you have a great investment a new opportunity but you're holding yourself back why the four of pentacles here you're holding yourself back. Five of Pentacles here. Because you're worried. 
You're holding yourself back because you feel like you don't have the resources, the money, the, the time, the attention. Strength here, Knight of Cups here. Uh, a lot of you guys, you feel like you're losing control. So you're holding yourself back from moving forward, from following your heart. It's time to spread your wings. It's time to get out of your own way. You're you, you stuck in your own head. That four of swords is stuck in your head in reverse. You're stuck in your own head. It's time to spread your wings. You're confused about which way to move forward. Just fucking move. Just move. Just move. You're holding yourself back. You're keeping yourself in this five of pentacles energy. And what's crazy, that five of pentacles and that four of pentacles is nine pentacles. That's self-stability. That's self-sustainability. That's security within self. But you're so broken up about what your expectations are around something. This is probably a love situation. You keep looking back at what was and not understanding that what was is a conflict that you have to release. It's a burden that you got to let go of. I don't know why I turned them up, but I did. So we'll see how they go for next week. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's underneath. This is for Gemini. Okay. Bad choices. I'm trying to tell you. What messages do we have for Gemini? What messages? For guys, do we have for Gemini? One. Okay. One. Two. Y'all, that's your message. Game over. Listen, how I do this and what's crazy. When I shuffle, if I hit three shuffles with these particular other cards, I'm going to make sure I get the number of cards I want out because I have a certain. But these are like just saying what's hidden underneath what you need to know. This is all you need to know. This is all. The, this is all for a lot of you guys, you are nervous or you, you're confused about whether or not you should move forward. It's time to let something go. Bad choices. Caution. Game over. You got to let some go or something going to be let go for you. This is the, this is, this is, this is crazy. Two cards. This is the message. This is very fucking direct message. Like your message from spirit is direct like a motherfucker. It's time like game. Do y'all see this? Let me, let me, let me bring it in some more. I don't know for sure. I'm just trying to. Bad choices, caution, game over. Sorry, I didn't see that. Game the fuck over. Maybe I should put it like that. Y'all see it? Baby. This ain't, I don't, this, this is. This is gonna be happening. Knowing they fucked up, I didn't know they fucked up. Let's clarify. I feel like this just it. Somebody know they fucked up and it's it's game over now. Why is bad choices this? Somebody made a bad choice. Why is bad choices this? We got passion here. Somebody made a decision based off of lust. Chemistry, wanting to have fun. Give me one more for bad choices. We got honeymoon. Honeymoon phase over. Yes. Honeymoon phase is over. Yes, somebody made a bad choice. Somebody here made a bad choice in regards to a situation that they were lustful about. Somebody could have a passion for a bad choice. For, for, for real. Why is caution here? Love call. This person is calling. Someone's coming to express love. You're being told to have caution. Let me say these are in reverse. What, what, what is this? We got sexuality and sunglasses. Some of y'all not seeing. This person, uh, I feel like... Now... I got this in Taurus read, but I didn't, I didn't, it isn't, somebody could be figuring out their sexuality, but that's not what it says. It says someone is still figuring themselves out with sunglasses here. I feel like someone here is blind. This person is coming in, maybe blind to the fact that this, they made, they fucked up. <laughs> Some of y'all is about to cut somebody off. You've healed. It's time to let this go. Fully. Gemini, the 
this is the most direct message I've ever got in my fucking life. Some of you guys are manifesting something new. Tell the universe what you want so that you can get it. We're going to clarify the game over since we ain't got no more cards. Why is the game over here for Gemini? Hand of cards. Some of y'all here, y'all being very strategic. You're not showing your hand. Game over here. You've dealt with a lot of challenges within the situation. Listen, this is the most direct fucking message I've ever got. What's going on underneath is somebody made some bad choices and you need to be cautious of dealing with them. They're coming back in. They're trying to express a message to you. they thinking about you. They want to let you know. Whatever this is, is coming in confusion. And for you, that's not, that's not it. So, <laughs> so y'all done. Game the fuck over. Can you see that? Game over. Let me leave it there and maybe they'll use it as a goddamn, uh, what you call it, what you call it, what you call it. Game over. Yeah. Somebody made a bad choice. They know they fucked up. That's it. This That's the most direct fucking, wow. Give me three uh, messages from person of interest for Gemini. Okay, give me two more for a person of interest for Gemini. All right. So we have... I'm scared you will reject me. I'd be scared too. With that reading I just got, Gemini, y'all is not playing with this motherfucker. It says you are worth more than I let on. Okay. And you're my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. Whoever this is, they think you they soulmate. I, they might. Karmics are soulmates too. All right. What love messages do we have for Gemini? So I'm going to these. Love messages for Gemini. Okay. Well, that was up. Let me stop turning the shit. That was reversed. Woo! Woo! Some of you guys, uh, you're attracting their romantic love. And I feel like because you love yourself now. And I say now because you are rejecting this person. Calling in your soulmate in reverse, you don't want them. You're not calling this motherfucker in. We also got wedding in reverse. This could be a divorce. Some of you guys get a divorce. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you need to check that out. Because I definitely had Taurus divorcing uh, or going through some sort of uh, separation with a Gemini that they were in a marriage with. Or you got that in your chart and you finna divorce somebody. You know what I'm saying? What is this? God damn. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Uh, don't go through, through the whole phase, Gemini, because I feel like this is what this is leading to. Some of y'all trying to attract in some uh, enjoyable moments, and that may be some enjoyable people, but y'all are not trying to attract in a soulmate. Y'all not trying to be uh, locked down right now. You just want to spread your wings. You want to have options. Some of y'all want options. You finna get them. You finna get them. But be cautious of some bad choices that you're going to make. It could lead to game over, okay? Be careful who you associate yourself with. And I read that literally. Some of y'all could associate yourself with somebody that could be the beginning of your demise. So I feel like y'all need to be very cautious of who you let in. I feel like you need to be very cautious of who you allow in your space. I'm not saying barricade yourself. I'm not saying be stuck off in your mind. I'm saying spread your wings and allow yourself to kind of be free of restrictions, yes. But allow yourself to just be in the energy of youthfulness and not just engage with every party that comes your way. Because, 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 because that, that's, that's very direct, Gemini. Okay? What messages of guidance do we have? Messages of guidance. What messages? All right. We got two and they were in reverse or they were sideways. We got prosperity lies in the head and, fix, and hold your vision. Some of you guys, I do feel like there's going to be some prosperity. You do need to believe in impossible. Um, these are challenges right now for you though because they came sideways. Check them out. New moon of Taurus could definitely be done with a Taurus. And we got uh, hold your vision. Listen, hear me out. Y'all gonna laugh when I say this, but it's serious, and I feel like I gotta say this. If you are married to a Taurus, or if you're married to someone, and there's money, and with, with the cards I just saw, I have to warn you, be cautious, um, especially if there's like life insurance policies or something, because one of my biggest reasons why I won't get married is because I watch too much ID channel, and husbands kill they motherfucking wives, and I'm not trying to be in that situation for no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that boyfriends kill their girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? Men kill women, women kill men, I'm not saying that, but I watch 
a lot of men that take their wives out for money and for a little shit change. So you need to be careful because this is a conflict for you right now. I feel like you're holding your vision, but you need to start to see other shit as well. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own way because your reading has been very direct. And I, I, I like that you are in the space of healing, but I don't like that there's some things that you, I feel like, are going to be blindsided by. Okay? Let's see. So what messages, what guidance do you have? Actually, what signs are relevant to Gemini? Houses, planets. All right, we got Venus. All right, yeah, that's Venus. Yeah, that's Venus. I'm tripping. I know Venus. Uh, tenth house. I'm just throwing off. Tenth house talks about uh, family. What the fuck is this? Pisces. Y'all, I am thrown off right now, and I'm shaking. Y'all need to be very careful of uh, the company you keep. You feel me? Because I didn't like the energy. I just pulled off some cards. It made me very nervous, and I feel like I'm having a panic attack. And I feel like I'm having a panic attack. So I feel like you need to be very fucking careful right now. I can't even, my mind not even working to, let me, I need to put that on there too. Uh, Pisces, that is Pisces, I had it right. Uh, be careful. This is about a, a, a relationship with a Pisces, could be ending. I need to put that in bold caps. Like, be careful for sure, because your life might depend on this. Alright. What are the messages? I mean, what are the signs? We got Scorpio. What is this? Ninth house? Ninth house. Scorpio, ninth house. Ninth house talks about, uh, what the fuck is a ninth And we got Venus again. What the fuck does a ninth house talk about? Y'all, I am really thrown the fuck off. I do not like it at all. I don't like this feeling. Travel, philosophy, higher education, religion. Okay, it talks about like occultism and stuff like that. So you guys could be doing some sort of, uh, I want to say sex magic for some of you guys. Or just like couple magic or... I'm getting sex magic. Be careful. <laughs> you could also be dealing with like uh, getting married or you and your partner like learning something new about each other like a deeper level of knowledge with each other it's romantic i think it's good all right oh you can also be going to a business party partnership with that pisces because the tenth house is about business isn't it long term stability stuff like that yeah reputation all right so let's see here Five houses. Planet. We got Venus again. Sagittarius here. You gotta be going into a relationship with the Sagittarius. Y'all need to be careful. I do not like that part of your read. This is all I have, Gemini.